Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia and Michelle. Today I'm going to be reviewing Manisha's song. It's Russia's representative for Eurovision 2021. Bear with me because my daughter is like right here. So we're going to be hearing cows mooing, all of the nursery rhymes, everything during this amazing COVID live stream. <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you for joining. Okay, so I'm gonna be talking about the song Russian Woman. Um, I wanna just start off and say, if you watched my semifinal one qualification video, as of now, I'm kind of thinking that Russia's going to qualify. I want this song to qualify. Honestly, I want probably 13 songs in semifinal one to qualify and they can't all qualify, unfortunately. It's just not possible. Not all of them can qualify. So I would say that I, the thing that I love about the song and the word that I would use to describe Russian woman. Yeah, just getting her best life over there. The thing that I would say to describe this song is dynamic. This song to me has tons of dynamism. I feel like there are levels. I feel like we're seeing her talent, her creativity on stage. I love the message behind the song. I've been seeing these articles saying that I guess she's getting hate. Like maybe this is like a Russian thing. I, I, like I, I feel like this isn't a worldwide thing. I think that maybe that's just happening in Russia or something because this song is great. I actually think that the juries are gonna show this song love. I always get nervous with the juries with anything that has like any type of hip hop element and stuff that might be like in a native language based off of like what, a, in particular based off of what happened in 2019. To me, this song like kind of needs to be in the grand final this year. And, and again, I think that there are tons of songs in semifinal one that need to be in the grand final. But this one kind of needs to be there. And I actually think that the juries are going to show this song some love. And I do think televoters will just be captivated by this by the show that she's going to give us. I think that there's something about this performance that does feel very Eurovision. And I mean that in a good way. I think we watch Eurovision not necessarily to hear radio friendly pop songs. At least I don't. And I'm an American. You know, I'm coming into Eurovision because I want to see cultures reflected on stage. I want to hear native languages spoken on stage. And I want to see some of the countries bring their best artists. And Manisha is definitely an amazing, amazing creative artist. I mean, you know, I like to say, like, give people kind of categories. Like, we have singers, we have performers. And then also, I don't know if I've talked about this a lot, we have artists. And Manisha is an artist, okay? This song is so layered. It's so creative. I love uh, the story that we're sort of being told on stage. And, you know, the song isn't mostly in English. You know what I mean? It's mostly in Russian. I don't speak Russian, you know, but those bits of every Russian woman needs to know you're strong enough to bounce against the wall. And even though she's saying every Russian woman, we know that she's talking about all women, you know, ultimately, you know, she's singing to Russian women because she is, you know, so I, I get that. But also I, being an American woman, can listen to that song and definitely connect with it and understand the overall message that she's trying to tell. Let's break down the translation of this. So it's like, fields, fields, I, I'm so small, I'm too small. You know, how do you cross a field through the fire? You know, how do you kind of break against these things when you're in the midst of a trial? I, that's not what the words are, I'm, I'm sort of translating and interpreting as I go along, you know, and then it says, should I wait for a helpful hand? Will, will someone help me? For, will someone help me? You know, um, we're waiting for the ship, a sailing ship. We're waiting from night till dawn. We're waiting basically for someone to come save us. And, and so now I'm interpreting. Um, so it's like, we're waiting for someone to come save us, but you know what? Like we can save ourselves. Like let's stand up together and we can save ourselves. This is a, a a a pop song. I do feel like there's pop to it. It's a hip hop song. It's an ethnic song. There's folk elements to it. Again, I use the word dynamism. This song is so dynamic. This is the type of song that I want to see on the Eurovision stage. I want artists with these very strong points of view 
to come on the Eurovision stage and tell their story, tell a story that's authentic to them. I just did uh, my review for Iceland song. You know, Dottie is giving us something that's so authentic to him. And I think Manisha is doing the exact same thing. And I think artists who get on stage and tell that, that authentic story should be rewarded. Honestly, if the televoters won't do it, the jury should be doing it. But honestly, I have no faith in the jury, particularly given what happened in 2019. But this is a song that that does feel accept, accessible, but also has such lyrical depth. Um, the story that is being told on stage, this is not some simple love song. This is not even just some simple pop female anthem. This song is layered. It, it, it truly is poetic. And I think that artistry should have a place on the Eurovision stage and should be rewarded by the juries and televoters. Honestly, televoters have a better track record of rewarding quality than the juries do at this point. Um, but let me hop into these comments because I got a couple of people uh, commenting. Hey, Robert, you love Russian woman. Um, hey, Emmanuel, it will be hard to forget it. I agree. Um, Lovro, she is going to win. I don't know if Russia's winning this year. I don't know if Russia's winning this year. But I do really like this song. And again, I do feel like this song has a place in the final and should have a place in the final. Um, Emmanuel, the performance in Spain pre-party left me speechless. It was so good. And honestly, Russia is one of the countries I'm so excited to see in rehearsals tomorrow because we really don't know what they're going to bring to the stage because that national selection was really put together so quickly. Like, I think what we're going to see is going to be completely different. And knowing Manisha, it's going to be a show. It's going to be memorable. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, Demetrius, I could see a top three in the semifinal with the televoters, but I worry about the juries and if they're going to respect this. Overall, I could see it in the top five in the final with awesome stage and we We'll see. Robert says they have arrived to Rotterdam. That's great. Um, uh, what do I, uh, um, Tree Tree says, honestly, she won the pre-party. I mean, that pre-party performance, again, was amazing from her. Amazing, amazing. Alexandra says, I love that it won Russian, um, it won the Wus Russian national selection on International Women's Day. I know, right? Right? It made so much sense. Um, Amani says, I love how specific the message is, I'm sick of generic feminist songs that sound desperate for jury votes. Like, say it loud and raise your voice. I'm I'm not your honey. I, I know which ones you're talking about. Um, I'm not gonna lie though. Y'all know Malta is one of my favorites this year. So we won't we won't be here for the Malta slander. But again, I, I will say there's something about this song that is so poetic. And I, I do believe that quality like this really does deserve to be rewarded by juries and televoters. Well, that was my review. What do you think? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you disagree with my review? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you agree with my review? Talk to me in the comments below. This is a conversation. And you know what? I am so excited for Eurovision 2021. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. The rehearsal start tomorrow. I don't think that y'all are ready for the tsunami of content I have coming your way a tsunami of content. It's going to be insane. So I hope that you like, and I hope that you are subscribed because we've been waiting two years for this, basically. We've been waiting two years for this, and I am so ready for Eurovision 2021. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>